spiritual practice in my company, March the 13th, 1994, taken from Ishtar. My divine revelation is unique, and therefore spiritual practice in my company is unique. The traditions of religions and spirituality are not the measure of my appearance, nor are they the measure of spiritual practice in my company. There are forms of spiritual esotericism in the traditions that are associated with spiritual transmission, but they are not the definition of spiritual practice in my company. Just as spiritual practice in my company is not merely a matter of the practices associated with the natural energies of the body-mind, just so spiritual practice in my company is not about the conventional spirituality of the advanced fourth stage of life and the fifth stage of life. I have helped you to understand this. I have criticised conventional spirituality and not because it is outside the range of my experience or realisation. All the experiences and realisations of all the stages of life are in my experience. But spiritual practice in the way of the heart is not defined by the conventional fifth stage point of view. Spiritual practice in my company has nothing to do with the search for or even the experience of the so-called spiritual phenomena of the fifth stage of life. Such phenomena may occur, as I have said, but they are not specific to the way of the heart. Spiritually activated practice in the way of the heart is a continuation of the process of eco-transcendence that is established in the beginning. It is about thorough, thorough, true fundamental ego surrender, ego forgetting, ego transcendence. Therefore, spiritual practice in the way of the heart is not about the development of the science of psychic evolution, which exploit the subtler side of the natural facilities, faculties. It is not about visions, for example. Although visions may occur, spiritual practice in my company is not about visions. All such phenomena are to be understood and transcended in devotion to me. Spiritual practice begins in my company, in the second developmental stage of the way of the heart, and it develops further in the third developmental stage. It is not about merely experiencing the effects of my spiritual and always blessing presence. Your experience is in the body-mind, in other words, but it is about surrendering the body-mind in a spiritual company, communion with me. Spiritual practice in my company is about identifying my spiritual presence, finding me, practicing surrender to me, and forgetting separate self in spiritual communion with me. Spiritual practice in my company is not about the experiences that may arise in the body-mind, nor the physical experiences, nor the psychic experiences, not the internal stimulations of the various faculties of audition, vision, taste, smell and so on. Ultimately, spiritual practice in the way of the heart becomes objectless communion with me, beyond specific, specificity, specificity, specificity of faculty. In the second and third developmental stages of the way of the heart, when you have located me, I myself, spiritually present, the practice is truly self-surrendering and self-forgetting submission to me. Such practice is a death, not a reception. It is to give yourself over to me, not to take me to yourself. The ego, the separate disposition, is crushed in submission to me, and you are retired directly to the witness position in the sixth stage of life rather than invested in the subtler aspects of the body-mind. For this reason, those who practice in my company truly spiritually are not likely to go on to the fifth stage of life, or even to the advanced form of the fourth stage of life. 
some might, because of certain karmic limitations. But practice in the advanced form of the fourth stage of life and in the fifth stage of life is not the likely development for my devotee. Therefore, the spiritual practice that is fundamental to the way of the heart has nothing to do in general with the internal perceptual developments that are prized in the esoteric traditions of spirituality. There is nothing objective about spiritual communion with me. It is an ego-transcending process of surrendering to me in spiritual terms, as I am spiritually present, beyond my bodily human form. Even so, through my spiritual heart transmission, even through the vehicle of this body but beyond it, you self-given and self-forgetting, self-forgotten, find me beyond this body, find me spiritually, objectlessly, not objectively. In the fulfilment of the basic context of the fourth stage of life, in my company, in the third developmental stage of the way of the heart, presuming that no diversions intervene, my devotee will awaken to the witness position in the context of the sixth stage of life and move on to the perfect practice. The perfect practice, again, is not a matter of reception. In that ultimate stage of life, what could you receive with? Only the ego can receive. Only by identifying with the body-mind can you receive me. The way the heart is not about taking up the position of the body-mind and receiving me. It is about surrendering the self-contraction, surrendering the position of egoity, therefore surrendering the position of the body-mind and entering into my sphere. Objectless communion with me is a spiritual sign in the way of the heart. Spiritual practice in my company is not consoled by objects, not consoled by subtle objects, and not consoled by gross objects. It is without the point of view of consolation. If you are to so-called receive me spiritually, the ego position must be assumed, and to take up the position of the ego or the body-mind is a self-contracting act. In the way of the heart, the ego position must be renounced. Therefore, to engage in spiritual practice in my company, you relinquish the position of the body-mind. You relinquish the position of self-contraction. Therefore, you relinquish the position of reception or of involvement in the effects, one can say, of my spiritual presence. Practice of the way of the heart is not associated with the effects of my spiritual presence, although such effects may occur secondarily. Practice of the way of the heart is about relinquishing the ego position, the position of the body-mind, and entering into my spiritual sphere, the sphere of my own person. Those other signs, although they may occur, must be understood and they must be transcended. They are not what the way of the heart is about. So here Adida says that spiritual practice begins in the second stage. Spiritual practice begins in my company in the second developmental stage of the way of the heart. So what stage am I in? Am I not allowed to turn to Adida Samraj? if one is in the first developmental stage, whatever that is. Is my practice a sham because I'm not a formal devotee? I'm turning to him right now. I'm contemplating his bodily human form. I'm feeling stable, still, at peace. I feel love bliss flowing through me. Is that just an egoic feeling? I am surrendered.
Da. It's a graceful happening, nothing to do with the ego. So, no need to question it. Da. Ah.